welcome to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose, and this here is Doug Maidenford, our Pennsylvania Dutchman. How are you, Doug? Hey, I'm doing just okay, buddy. Just okay, all right. Well, our first question comes in from Jason and Heather of Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. Jason says, My wife and I were watching your fancy coffee episode, and you name-checked almond milk latte, which is what my wife always gets. I still don't know what that is. Neither do I. Okay, but um, anyway. So, we're both vegans. We. Oui. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I know your deep love of fried meats, but are there any vegan PA Dutch people or vegan PA Dutch dishes we should try? Uh, How do you make anything PA Dutch without a pound of butter? Well, before we get to that, I guess, you know, I think I read somewhere in the history books that there were a couple of vegans on the first boat that came over in 1683 from Germany, but they didn't survive the first winter. <laughs> and I think because of that, they couldn't, they never passed that vegan ideas on to kids, so they died out. I don't know of any vegans around. I don't know any Pennsylvania Dutch vegetarians either. Yeah, well, let's see, you get, uh... But right, they, right. Ask about, they ask about food, Pennsylvania Dutch food that a vegan could eat. Well, a little dandy, dandelion wine, I guess? Well, yeah, well, dandelion, they could go out and pick yeah, some yeah, dandelion yeah, with hot bacon... Dressing, no, hot, well, yeah, you have to do the hot, uh, hot dressing, or just the hot. Hot, yeah, dandelion and hot. <laughs> dandelion and hot, or you could do a red beet, or red meat no, egg. No, 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 red, so red beets. Dandelion. Red beets. Yeah, dandelion, hot, and red beets. So vegetables. Yeah, that's about, uh... Why would you want to live like that? I, I couldn't. I what were their names? Uh, Jason and Heather. Jason and Heather. I'm not going to question why you made this decision, but I want to ask you one question. Why did you make this decision? No, no, <laughs> nay, 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 nay. Have you ever eaten cheese? It's delicious. Yeah, nothing better than bacon. Oh, God, bacon. I think if you tried cheese, you might change your mind about being vegan. I would think so, but how do you not eat bacon? You got all the stuff like the broccoli and bacon salad. That's yeah. I I couldn't do it. The bacon dressing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess people make choices, and if they're happy with it, that's great. It leaves more for us. Yeah. Well, is is yeast vegan? Can do I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's naturally occurring, but isn't it kind of living? So it's I, I, I think we kind of copped out on this answer a little bit because that, I mean, I think of any Pennsylvania Dutch food, I, they're all, they all got either meat or dairy of some kind in it, except for vegetables. Yeah. But even dried corn, it's got milk and butter. A vegan can't eat that. Well, I guess you could use soy, soy milk and soy Does, Is there vegan butter? I, I, I don't know. If there's know. almond milk... Maybe there's almond bu butter. Almond, yeah. I think I'd go crazy. I couldn't do it. That sounds like too much work. Hey, Jason, Heather, kudos to you. Uh, but as far as Pennsylvania Dutch food goes, I think we struck out. I'm it sorry. sounds like you might be the first BA Dutchies. Yeah, and vegans. you know, it, maybe you could tweak with the recipes a little bit and let us know. I. Maybe. I'm told that they use apples for a lot of stuff nowadays. Yeah, but what's that going to do you for some of the stuff we like to eat? Oh, well, what's a... You what's can't a, have chicken pot pie with just apples. You can have apple pot. That sounds pretty good. Apple pot pie? Apple chickens? Pot. Like a little chicken. I don't know. Hey, Chase and Heather, we wish you lots of luck with this whole vegan thing. And like we said, it leaves more meat for us, so I guess we win-win here. No, I'm... Definitely a fan of that. Yeah, if you can come up with Pennsylvania Dutch recipes with vegan backgrounds, let us know. We'll share it with the, with everybody out there in YouTube land. But I think for today, I just don't know what to say. Yeah, neither do I. We're tapped out, I guess. Okay. Well, All right. Well, thank you. This was Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. Tune in next time and send emails and ask some questions for yeah. us. Mark's good. Mark's good. If you have a question why you have to email us at busterpa at yahoo.com.